Welcome to Time for Tots. Our story today is Super Ladybug to the Rescue, and the author is Guido van Genechten. <clears throat> Help! Somewhere in Africa, an elephant has gotten stuck in the mud. So there's the elephant, and look at all the mud. Poor elephant. Help! Above an abyss in the Grand Canyon, a dog is dangling by one paw. Oh no! Help! In the hot Sahara Desert, a camel is completely drying out. Poor camel. Help! Deep in the Amazon jungle, a snake is seriously tangled. And look, he's all tied in knots. Help! On the beach in the Cayman Islands, a lost whale has washed ashore. And look, he's completely out of the water. Not good. Look! It's Super Ladybug to the rescue. With his super powerful elephant sucker. There it is. He pulls that big softy out of that muddy mess in no time. And the elephant says, Thank you, Super Ladybug. Fortunately, with his mega extending net for falling animals, he is always just in time. And look, there's the dog that was just hanging on the edge of the canyon. He catches him in the net. And the dog says, yay, super ladybug. With his wonderful water tank, he refills the camel's humps in a flash. That feels better, super ladybug. Whew, he's doing a good job of rescuing everybody so far. With his mighty knot remover, he helps the tangled snake back to a straight path. And there's the knot remover. And there's the snake all straightened out. And he says, super, thanks, super ladybug. And with his unbelievable turbo pusher, and that's what this thing is here, he gives that poor whale a good shove back into the sea. Wow, Super Ladybug, you are so strong. On his way home, Super Ladybug helps a polar bear who has fallen through the ice in Greenland, two giraffes who have tumbled upside down with laughter in the African bush, a howler monkey with a stuffed up nose in the rainforest, and three zebras who lost their stripes somewhere in the African grasslands. There he is. Took off his super ladybug wings, hung up his whole thing, and there he is in bed. It was just another day as usual for super ladybug. Tired but satisfied, he crawls into bed. Help! Hoo! A call comes in on the international receiver. A barn owl all the way across the world can't fall asleep. Now that the sun is up, super ladybug hops out of bed. He knows just what to do. He grabs some special storybooks for owls who can't fall asleep and flies off. Super Ladybug to the rescue! And look, I don't know, this is pretty dark, but there's Super Ladybug and he's carrying <clears throat> a box and it's the book box and that has the story in there. And I thought we might like to pretend to be a Super Ladybug. So, I made a super ladybug cape. And a super ladybug hat. So I took a piece of felt, just square felt, and I folded it in half, and then I cut half of a heart out of it, and that's how I made my cape. You can see there's one lobe of the heart and there's the other. And then don't come to a point at the end. Just leave it straight across there. <clears throat> then when you have that cut out, 
Then I just took some ribbon and I actually stapled it on. And then when I was done stapling, I just took a hammer and I tapped all the staples to make sure there'd be no sharp edges to get caught in anybody's neck. And then I took... Please interruption. Reset for the inside this morning. Then I took a round shape and I traced around it. And I cut out some a circle. Here's a black one. And then I just... I actually stapled my red dots on too and I did the same thing. I tapped them on the back so... So I've got dots on there like a ladybug. And then when I put it on, I just put it around like this and I don't tie it around my neck. I made it long enough so that I can just tie it behind my back. Because I don't want to get choked with anything around my neck. There's my cape. And then I just cut some two inch strips of black paper and I stapled them together to make the ring. And then I just took a red pipe cleaner and I folded it in half like this. And I stapled it inside at the back of my hat here, my hat band. And I just glued my little red pom-poms on there. <clears throat> but I glued them last night to give them time to dry so that they wouldn't fall off. So I'm just going to fly away and have fun making a ladybird butt costume.